Welcome back to What's Now. Becoming Elizabeth is an all new series on stars. I recently spoke with two of the individuals who are starring in that series, all about the incredible show you don't want to miss out on. Let's take a look. Today we are discussing Becoming Elizabeth, the queen you know and the girl you don't. And I have the opportunity to speak with stars of this. Alicia Von Rittbert and Tom Cullen are both here. They are stars of this all new drama series that you can see on it, stars. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here today. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Alicia, let's start with you. Tell me more about Becoming Elizabeth and your role and participation in this. Um, well, the series just, it, it starts um, with the death of Henry VIII, um, which was a father. And uh, with that, this, this void kind of opens up and um, everyone tries to to find, you know, like their pawn in the game, basically. Um, and Elizabeth uh, is, becomes an orphan by the death of her father. So this this incredibly dangerous and dark world kind of like opens up for her as well. And within that world and um, people around her trying to manipulate her um, and her siblings, she she just tries to you know, like find her world and uh, place in the world and, and grow up and and be a young woman rather than um, following her duty. And, 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 and yeah, she just wants to live and fall in love for the first time. So it's, it's very much um, a, a, a period piece um, and, and a coming of age story in one that, that feels very contemporary, I think. And, and it's a very close look at the characters. And Tom, what is it like for you being a part of a story that's so well known? Well, um, actually, this period of history, Elizabeth's history, is really not well known at all. I'm, I'm British, and you know, from the moment that we're, we're born, we have uh, history shoved down our throats, especially um, Elizabeth I. And I genuinely thought I knew everything I, I could know about her. And there's been obviously so much made about her. But this specific story um, of her in her teenage years, as far as I'm aware, has never been covered. And when I was reading the scripts and uh, doing my research, I was absolutely blown away by the story and I had no idea and it really is so uh, informative of the person and the iconic queen that she became and I think the viewers would really uh, learn a lot from it. And Alicia were you intimidated to play such a well-known distinguished individual? Um, I, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I was, uh, I, was I, I, I couldn't believe it. And, and, and I think just looking at the incredible actresses that have portrayed her before, it was just overwhelming. And um, plus you want to, you know, like you want to approach it with a lot of respect and, and do it justice. But um, as Tom just said, it's, it's about a young woman that we do not know that much about. Um, and I think that was very helpful because there isn't that much comparison and there is not even that that much documented about that time, which is ridiculous because it was so rich on, you know, like religion, politics, um, family affairs. It, it's incredible what what she's been through and what made her the, the iconic queen we know. Um, yeah. And Tom, how does this project and playing Thomas Seymour and being a part of another period piece. You've been in so many well-known ones, such as Downtown Abbey. How does this compare or contrast to other projects you've done? Uh, it really does feel uh, like a standalone, to be honest, um, and for many different reasons. Number one being the scripts. The first time I read them, I, I really had never read a period drama quite like it before. Uh, Anya Reese, our showrunner, she was 28 or 29 when she was showrunning this show. And she is this kind of really punky, very cool young woman from uh, Brixton, South London. And the person that you really wouldn't expect to be writing a period drama. And therefore the show just has this inherent punkiness, which is Anya. Um, and then also uh, the way that we shot it, 
um, uh, our amazing director, Justin Chadwick, and our incredible DP of director of photography, uh, Adolfo Veloso, this young Brazilian guy, they had this very specific vision, which was very married to Anya's scripts, which were that we were gonna shoot kind of 360 degrees. So they built these extraordinary sets. Everything was lit by candlelight and window, uh, uh, through the windows. There's no lighting at all other than that. And Adolfo would just move and go wherever he wanted to in the scenes. And it, it, it kind of gives the show this energy that feels um, so unique to any other show of its ilk or any one that I've been involved in, certainly. So looking forward to watching this incredible show. Becoming Elizabeth premieres Sunday, June 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Stars. Thank you so much, Tom and Alicia, for joining us today. Once again, can't wait to watch this and appreciate our conversation. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your time. <laughs>